one for the better team. I can't say it any other way. I don't really think everybody knows what they're about to witness. I have no talent when I see one. I should be an NFL scout. Jonathan, I don't like that pick. I love that pick. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Dorn Bay Podcast, and welcome to our divisional series. This is where we go through each division in the NFL and rate the first place team and who the last place team is going to be in the division. Now we are on to the NFC, and the first division we got is the NFC East. If you don't remember or you didn't know, just look at our screen. We got (laughs) the Eagles, the Cowboys, the Giants, and the Washington Commanders. Um, we are a NFC East podcast for sure. Um, last year, the Cowboys won the division. Congrats, Jonathan. Uh, the Eagles came in second after just falling apart towards the end of the season. Giants came in third to last, and Commanders came in dead last. Now, as far as new coaches, the Commanders got a new coach, and it is someone familiar to Jonathan, it's Dan Quinn, the former Cowboys DC, uh, former Falcons head coach, yeah. I believe. Um, so that should be very interesting. Have to watch out for that. Last year, the Cowboys were in first and they made the playoffs. The Eagles were in second, they made the playoffs, and then the Giants and the Commanders did not make the playoffs. For me, uh, before I say this, I just want to put it out there. We have our stat, and it keeps staying true each done, year. Done, I, hate it, I each hate it every year. year. It does it, and it has stayed true, and I used it last year, and I you got did. it. And uh, the stat is, I believe I, I could put it – I could do it off of the dome. Is like <laughs> there has not been a back-to-back NFC East champion since the Eagles – and I believe 2004 and 2005, I think. Yeah, somewhere uh, in that range. Right. Around that range, but the Eagles are the last team to do it since 2004 or 5. 20 years. And it still reigns true every single year. So, if you remember from about a minute ago, <laughs> the Cowboys won the division last year, and I picked it. And so that eliminates the Cowboys yes. from contention. Yes. That's nice. <laughs> yes. You can't win the division. It's over. It's done. They won't let you bet on it anymore. It's, what's the point? <laughs> so with that being said, the first be. place team is the Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, oh, feels good. Welcome back to the full, the flock. Welcome. <laughs> yep. We missed your you year, last year off. You had one year off. Now you're back on. <laughs> and then, you show and then up. next Beats. year you'll be off again. <laughs> yeah, next year I'm not picking you. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> the team that will win the NFC East this year is the Philadelphia Eagles. No. You too? Yes. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. Angle, I should be I should player. be wearing my Saquon jersey, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are real yes. funny. You guys are real funny. But uh, I hate to break it to you, but that stat is not gonna be relevant this season. <laughs> Dallas Cowboys will win the division <laughs> at least this season. At least. That's on, that's least? on a bad day. That's on a bad year. I'm <laughs> 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 So uh, if I'm they play their the worst, pick. if they play their worst ball, they're gonna win the division. They'll least. probably win the division. Yeah, piece saying? of cake. Twelve and five last season. Piece, piece, of, piece of cake. Okay. Piece of. No, piece of no, cake. No. I am obviously. I'm laughing because last year I did say the same thing to Jared. I said the same thing. And I still hate it because it means that the Eagles can't repeat. Jared was right. You know, now it's gone to the Cowboys. So, but I said, I said, I'm laughing because I said the same thing. This See, when it favors year. you, you like yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm a turncoat, you know, so I am, but I am picking the Eagles to keep in line with the stat. So All right. Jonathan, you are welcome to, to join us though. No, the Cowboys going to win. Um, I hate to break it to you guys, but there's nobody stopping the Cowboys in that division. The, the Cowboys and Eagles always compete against each other. I don't think the Eagles have blown out the Cowboys in the past couple of seasons. They always compete well. I think it's good football. I think they do have some good additions this season, but I don't know if Barkley is going to remain healthy. He's always had injury issues in the past. Okay, um, uh, Kel- Kellen Moore is the offensive coordinator. Okay, Cowboys. That's dangerous, but that's that, dangerous for the Cowboys. No, that's easy for us. 
now we know <laughs> what we're like, oh, no, he he actually, he kind of more likes to do this. Yeah, you're kind of right. Yeah. See what I'm saying? That's that's bad. That's bad for the Eagles. I don't know. They were trying to, they were trying to, I guess, get no, a but if he's there, if but. he's smart, if he's smart, you know, these offensive coordinators, these coaches, they change their no, ideas. You, they try to change it a little bit, but everybody has an identity. <laughs> Everybody's known for this. Cal Moore is known for this. I think McCarthy's McCarthy's too state. Like he McCarthy's too predictable. I think. Yeah. Yeah. I mean McCarthy. Like if it's if it's a, I, yeah. if it's Moore or McCarthy, I think Moore is more unpredictable. No, I mean I think let's go. The let's Cowboys go through had our worst. Moore, the Cowboys. The Cowboys <laughs> yeah, 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 we, we can't Cowboys, even get to our worst. If it wasn't for the Cowboys, oh, yeah. uh, Kellen Moore wouldn't be where he is today. If it wasn't for the Cowboys, Kellen Moore wouldn't be where he is today. The Cowboys well, know his tendencies. They trained him. They 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 know they know what he likes to do. <laughs> In terms of an offensive scheme, I think the defense is going to have a field day against the Eagles anytime they play. Okay, so I hate to break it to you guys, mm. but the Cowboys are going to win the division this season. <laughs> at least I'm telling you, at think, least I'm like we're not going to talk about the Cowboys. We're not going to talk about the Cowboys game. were a I'm top five offense last year without Kellen Moore. They well, were top five year. without him. So, every year it's we done boys, and it never is. You know? Yeah, they actually they actually were better without Kellen Moore. But even um, with like a CD a CD Lamb, okay, we probably should go to the worst. Yeah, let's <laughs> yeah, go. We'll go to the, the worst. worst. We'll just let them all know because we'll, we, we'll we all know. Should we that. say we'll, it all? Yeah, let's say, say it all at the same once. time. I I think we're right. Yeah. All right. Three, two, one. Commanders. Giants. Oh, you guys oh. know. Oh. Nope. <laughs> but you guys think a rookie quarterback is gonna? Win, oh, not just, get last. A rookie quarterback. Well, lone Giants Eckler. fan is okay. And Dan Quinn, yeah, it's they're, they're, Dan they're Quinn. You better not let him call any plays in that fourth quarter. <laughs> <laughs> he better he better run off the field once it ends the third. Well played. But you like you okay, you like Daniels more. See, yeah. He see. Let me tell you guys what's going on here. Yeah, yeah. Daniel yeah. Jones second preseason game throws an interception, comes back the next drive throws a pick six. He's just letting all the bad plays out right now. <laughs> Once the season starts, he's not trying to show, like Jonathan said, he's not showing any of the plays yet. They don't want to show the plays. They don't, he doesn't, because once he shows the plays, they'll, the teams will start to understand how he plays. And that's not what we want. This guy, you... d- guys, do you know how good Malik Neighbors is? He is, he is a, literally a top 10 no, receiver. He's going to be, I think, a top 15 fantasy receiver by the end of the year. He is insanely With good. Quarterback. You're not letting your bias as a You're, Giants no. fan. No, dude. Lock? It doesn't even matter who throws him the ball. It really doesn't. But anyway, he is good. we have Brian Burns, this guy right here. He he was the best player on the Panthers' defense last year. We've got him. We've got Thibodeau. That they're both rushing the quarterback on either side. Can you even name one of the pass rushers for the Commanders? No. Exactly. So and they're still better. <laughs> You are going to be so mad when the Giants win. and You don't want this to happen. You need a quarterback next year. You have to get an early pick. We still will. If we win one game and they win zero, we'll still get a top three pick. <laughs> How far oh, separation boy. between the Giants and one, Commanders? One win. <laughs> game of inches. <laughs> Divido, Brian, Burns. One that gets you one win. Yeah, well, they have they have better receivers. I mean, we have yeah. neighbors is better than anybody that the Commanders have. Like we have the best offensive player out of both teams, but they have the yeah, they have the better offenses. Better Thing is, offense. the, last year we talked about the Giants, and they were to be fair, like one of my caveats every year, and it's where I kind of give Jonathan some credit. You know, as much as we laugh mm-hmm. about it, when Barkley's healthy, the uh, Giants' offense is really good right now i think that i think the eagles are more diversified it's not quite the same but he was you know i'm curious what the giants will look like without he, barkley without barkley and, and being who and he is. let me add caleb new defensive coordinator wink martindale left to, to go to michigan is your defense going to be as good like usually it's it's a solid defense like top 15 de- top 12 yeah now. our defense was it, not that great last year you like brian burns he's going to change was he a captain on the panthers uh, Brian Burns. I, I don't know if he was, but he should have been because he was their best player on the defense. So we get the best player on the Panthers defense. Granted, the parents, Panthers weren't that good, but Thibodeau, Burns. It's we're gonna have a good enough defense. We needed a change of, of face in that defensive coordinator position. I don't yeah. think we're gonna get that many wins, guys. I'm not too optimistic about this team, but I do think we're gonna be better than the Washington Commanders. It's, Jaden Daniels. Yeah, is it's good, more so the Commanders suck. Exactly. It's more so you think the Commanders yes. are gonna be really bad. 
That's yeah. true. Yeah. And like history is on your side, like precedent, like I, commanders. We all pick them. Yeah, right. they're normally very bad. So we give I, you that. <laughs> I personally love the off season that the commanders had. Yeah. Um, and we were watching the other day, and uh, Cliff Kingsbury is now the offensive coordinator. Oh, um, yeah. Which he's back Indeed. in the league now. Yeah. You know, he's what? probably wasn't the best head coach, to be honest, but his offenses were always really, really good. So he's now in yeah. just an offensive coordinator role. You got a brand new quarterback, Jaden Daniels. They picked up Bobby Wagner, who yep. is more so a coach. He's just a glorified coach, honestly. But he's it's so good for the room. Yeah, veteran. Austin Eckler, we're going to see if he's the slowest running back in the NFL or not. No, um, and then you talk about the Panthers, John. Jeremy Chin and Frank Luvu. They both were on the Panthers. They are now on the Commanders. Jeremy Chin was a guy that, John, you called his rookie year, um, yep. saying that he was really good. So he's he's a solid safety. And then Luvu was the leading tackles guy at the Panthers. Um, so they add all that on defense, plus having a defensive-minded coach. You add in a new quarterback into an offense where you have Dotson. You got Terry McLaurin. Uh, Logan Thomas, I think, is still on the team. No, um, he left, but Ertz is there. Ertz, Zacher, oh, well, yeah. I'm not going to say anything <laughs> about Ertz. Um, but they did lose Curtis Samuel, who had a really great run last yeah. year. He Safety he had some blanket. great games. Yeah, so we'll we'll see how the defense comes about. But I I I'm pretty confident that this offense can be good enough. Um, to beat like a team like the Giants, who I don't know if they could even score 17 points in a game. So, and in that <laughs> scenario, I think I think I would pick the Commanders. But yeah, like you said, John, like I have one or two wins difference between the Giants and Commanders. Um, I hope the Giants come in last because then you could have a quarterback finally. Isn't that what you really want? Yes, that's what I want. <laughs> Jonathan, would you were you gonna say something about Cliff Kingsbury? I thought I saw you you were gonna say something. I know I'm saying that was just that was a good pickup. That was a good pickup by yeah. Commander Stone. That even reinforces my confidence that they're not gonna get last <laughs> even more. Yeah. And I don't think Eckler well, is as slow as Jared thinks he is. I think Eckler he was still good when he left Chargers. I don't think they just didn't pay him, right? I think that's why he left. Yeah. That was my that was my impression. He wasn't really I mean he's old. He's old. everyone's everyone's a year older. But my impression was like he just the league wasn't paying running backs what they could be making if they were free agents. Like, but he is legit. I think he's a good, very good. That that video of Eckler running down the sideline and he's yeah. like super, super slow at the against the Packers. His okay. claim is that he had an injury before that and that he they braced or taped his knee or his uh, ankle or something and that he couldn't run like fluidly. Oh, so that's why yeah. he was so slow. But we'll okay. see. He's going to have a full season as a starting running back for the Commanders. We'll see if he's good. Because, to be honest, he's not the greatest running back. Great fantasy running back as far as catches and all that receiving yards and everything. But not the best running back. So we'll see how he fits into the Commanders offense. Well, and then I think I'm looking at ESPN. I think he's second to Brian Robinson yeah. Jr. Brian Started Robinson. Really well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the guy who got shot. Right, right. But then, you know, glad he's healthy. But even like on the field, he was showing he's number one. So the reason I think I, I the Giants historically are always like somewhat they have a good uh, like it's the Mara family that keeps them competitive long term pretty well. I think morale wise, the Giants are coming off tough hard knocks where they did lose Saquon. You got the impression that they were supposed to be they got the head coach of the year and they had one of the worst seasons after that. And a lot of factors contribute it. You know, then Daniel Jones gets locked up for a lot of money in a lot of years. And then, like, there's, it's just more morale issues that I think could affect them. But the other thing that I compare to the – I'm going to maybe touch on it. But, like, as long as Jerry Jones is the Cowboys owner, I don't really consider them deep, deep threats to Super Bowl winning. Oh, you know, I think he gets all. in the way. But that was nope. similar for many years with the Commanders, you know, with uh, the terrible owner. Dan Schneider. Be, yeah. Oh, and I'm sorry. like – this. Well, yeah, it's fine. He's gone. The bad man is gone now. So my point being, like, Giants and Commanders are kind of in a building stage, and the variable unknowns with the Commanders and, like, Jared, you were saying, some of the changes makes me think, like, okay, they might actually be able to get out of the 20-year slump where they've been, like, kind of terrible, like, pretty much yeah. the given fourth place. So they, they might. 
Giants, you know, will have their day at some point because that's a really historic franchise. But that's part of why I'm like with the Commanders. They, you know, for many years they were dark horses, good defense. And, you know, with, with uh, Kingsbury, his thing was as a head coach, he'd start off like amazingly the first like nine weeks and then statistically drop off when he was the head coach. When I think he was, when he's an offensive coordinator, you might just get that. You would think you only want to get that brilliance and have a head coach that can with with like Quinn. He was a good statistically Matt Ryan had an impressive year when he yeah. was on the Falcons and at their height. Now, of course, he's associated with the Falcons loss, but new team, new new era, you know, like this is a chance to reinvent himself and the things fundamentally that brought them to that point could still exist. So that's why I, I do have the Giants because I think they're just tied to the hip to the morale. And if Jones, I like Jones, but at this point, I, I'm, I'm, I think they would need to have low scoring games and have the defense be the bigger part. And if Jones yeah. is like a manager, maybe, but that's, do we see him being like that? I don't know. Yeah, let's give the Eagles some airtime here because uh, let's talk about how the Cowboys are going to be able to deal with Saquon Barkley at running back, A.J. Brown, Devonta Smith, uh, who else? <laughs> that uh, uh, the uh, uh, Dallas Goddard. Dallas, how is yeah. this Cowboys defense going to stop all those guys? That I mean, that's near impossible. And then on the defensive side, we haven't even talked about the Eagles – they add Bryce Huff, who is, uh, I think, on the Jets. He was their leading sacks, sacks leader um, as a defensive end. C.J. Gardner-Johnson, who was on the Lions, very good. Cooper DeJean and Quinion Mitchell, the two draft picks at cornerback. You guys yeah. did lose Fletcher Cox, Jason yeah. Kelsey, That's Hassan huge. Reddick. Yep. For now, Hassan Reddick may be coming back. Uh, Man, DeAndre Swift and Kevin Byer, the safety. Um, but if I look at the Cowboys, you added – a linebacker, Eric Kendricks. You lost Stefan Diggs or uh, Stefan Gilmore. Sorry. Um, I, what did? You, how did you guys Trayvon, get better? Trayvon Diggs is back though. They still have yeah. They got Trayvon Diggs. Trayvon was torn ACL last year. Right. But I guess coming off the injury. I mean, do you guys, Jonathan? Where where does it stand with CD Lamb? How do you feel about that? Uh, he's gonna come back eventually. Jerry Jones is playing the yeah. long game, but. Um, yeah. Lamb had a really good season last season, and number one, I think. yeah, it was number probably number one. But the year before that, I, don't, I think it was okay. So I mean, yeah, but yeah, he's still trying to get his money. I think they're gonna they're gonna be able to settle. He can't like stay sideline forever, or else his stock is gonna go down. Um, yeah. But I'm not worried about that. I think um, I, we still have Darren Bland. Okay, he had a lot of interceptions last year. Oh yeah, he was really good. Yeah, and so Stephon Gilmore, not I'm not too concerned about that. The other players. Yes, Pollard was a great piece, but we have Zeke back. Okay. Um, Alex, he's not the same. <laughs> it's not <laughs> but, enough, dude. <laughs> but yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not worried about that at all. And our Cowboys, our defense is our strong point. With Micah Parsons, that's the answer to all those questions you asked Jared about how you're going to stop that offense. Micah Parsons. <laughs> okay. He's probably a top 10 player the Eagles, in the NFL. Okay. Eagles frustrated okay. him last year, though. You, you see that clip where he was like throwing his helmet down against the Eagles or something? Yeah, I mean, getting frustrated. The Eagles probably yeah, play it's coming game. off the but the hype, yeah. But uh, it's a new system. They have to learn the playbook. <laughs> uh, it's not it's not as simple as you know how 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 it has been, right? Kellen Moore hasn't played with the Jalen Hurts type player. Okay, um, he hasn't he hasn't played with all these weapons he has. He's I don't think he's gonna be able to utilize all these guys he has. Okay, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to choose one. And Barkley, I don't I, again, I don't know if he's gonna make it past the first game. <laughs> In terms of health, no. What? what? Come on, the first that's game, so dude. Yeah, that's I, such disrespect. I, I, hope, I, hope, I hope he's healthy the whole season. No, yeah. Uh, no, you don't. Think in his, <laughs> you're not, you don't want him to get injured, but his history makes you worry. I mean, that was my concern with the Giants. My caveat always was like, if he stayed healthy. So, I give you that. But you, how do you feel about Dak? I think we talked about it in one of our off-season just meetups. Like, you, you're not bullish on Dak. Yeah, Dak. He's second hard. best quarterback. He's pretty, he's, second yeah. best quarterback in this division. No, he's first. Right, no, he's right. first he's still, in terms, of, we're talking about regular season. What? In terms of the regular season, he's the best quarterback. No, he's pretty second, consistent. Second. He's pretty consistent. J- guys, Jalen Hurts, he's not as great as we think he is. Okay? He went to the Super Bowl. Dak has a great been there. Right, <laughs> oh, guys, well, he did say team. regular season. season. Okay. Then they beat the Chiefs last year, and statistically he was like amongst the top 10 in accuracy and like led the okay. league in rushing. Yeah, Jalen Hurts is that. great. Don't get me wrong, but Dak is on another <laughs> level. And, and what? Regular season, in terms of the regular season, Dak's on regular. He's pretty consistent. 
they're gonna do really great in the regular season and then play out. They stat pad though. The Cowboys will blow out a bad team by like forty, and it's like the stats will be like, oh, he's he's crazy. But Dak Dak's a good game manager, but not better than Hurts. No, but Dak honestly, both of them have their ups and downs. Like yeah. you're saying that Dak's more yeah, consistent, Hurts but how many times have we seen Dak go on the road and they they lose like thirty to three to the Broncos? Like what? How does that happen? Hurts has shown up in close games because he did have issues last season. But even with the issues, like. It's like the thing where like the economy can feel one way, but you personally feel one. Like there were some issues with Hertz where it's like, all right, he wasn't as accurate. Some interceptions, fumbles there, yeah. but like big picture stats for the season, he was among the elites of the quarterbacks. And mm. I like that with Hertz, he wins close game. He, we we did beat the Chiefs. We won the rematch in the regular season. Now I wanted, you know, it doesn't matter. We want to win it all, but like I've seen Hertz lead a team on a comeback or not have weapons and still do like some of the clutchness that. Dak can do, but within the framework of like a game management thing. But I, the, the yeah. Cowboys Eagles games are always close though. So you are fair in saying you know it's not like one or the other team game. But come on, you you gotta you gotta accept Hurts is better, right? Nah, nah, he's not better. <laughs> last, last season, like the end of last season, he has struggled. He, I've never seen someone struggle so bad like he did last season. It was sad. So I, as honestly, I also felt bad for the guy. Even though I'm a Cowboys fan, I felt bad. Yeah, I felt I did feel bad too. I give you that. I was pretty. So was pretty will that carry over into this season? Maybe. Maybe teams know how to beat them better. Okay. Um. Again, it's a new system with Kellen Moore. It's he's gonna have to adjust. I don't know if he can. I don't know if him and Kellen Moore will click like he like that. That one year they won the Super Bowl or not won the Super Bowl. They went to the Super Bowl. Um. That was a special season because they had a really good offensive coordinator. Okay. And all the all the pieces this year they have they have pretty good pieces, but I don't think Kellen Moore. I don't know if he'll be able to put it together. And I don't know if Jalen Hurts can learn his playbook as well. Three different offensive coordinators in three years, that's a lot. Okay. That's never good. Yeah. But I think, yeah, what well, we talked about last year, like I felt like the season, I, I do kind of think, this might be another This might be another podcast. I do feel like Sirianni might be on the on the heated seat if things don't go well. He's overrated. I think He's Eagles fan overrated. base are expecting it. Last year, I was saying, like, I feel like you just gave up the last season. Towards the, I mean, what one stick to the NFC East what I'm thinking of right now is like dude like the the way the Cowboys went out I feel like is worse where I for the first as an Eagles fan for the first time I had y'all making it to the Super Bowl and to lose to the Packers I would rather the Eagles by the time we lost is like we kind of knew but I think that was a fact a, a picture of like the overall coaching coordinators like we didn't pick the right guys for that season and I was upset that we weren't willing to change like we changed the Matt Patricia you know but like we did worse with him like that's why I is on the hot seat is what I'm saying. But the way we went out, it's like easier to fix. Whereas I feel like morale wise, losing to the Packers when it was like finally your year, CD Lamb finally is like the guy. Um, I feel like it's harder to repeat that, whereas the Eagles can fundamentally fix things if they're right on even one of these. Because both of our coordinators mm-hmm. were, were not doing well. Wait, wait, wait. So I wait. Think... Sorry to keep it. So didn't the Eagles <laughs> lose to the what? Bucks? That's how they went out, right? They yeah, lost to the Bucks. That I think that, that's I, I, bad. And I called it, but we knew yeah, we knew it was bad. coming though. It was, it was everyone had the Cowboys beat the Packers. Nine. No, it was rough. Was what about the? Nine. I mean, I, but the Cowboys lost worse, and and it was less expected. I, I, they did a stat pad towards the end. A lot of people getting. I think a star was born that night. It wasn't the Cowboys' fault. A star was born. Jordan Love. We didn't know he was going to be that great. A star <laughs> oh, was born. No, but no. We already knew Love. We already Super knew Bowl. Love was doing well, and no. we already knew the Eagles were sucking at the end of the year. I, I predicted the Bucks would win. The, that was the, in my playoff bracket. The the, Sadly, uh, the, the Packers winning was more of a surprise. With Jordan Love, like it, it was how good you they guys were, were at home. How, the Eagles yeah, were it was home. yeah. Exactly. It was a surprise how good they were, but how bad the Cowboys blew it up. Packers, you know, because it was your year. I get in the playoffs. You guys know that they always clash. So, yeah. but, with, when but it was, it's when Jordan it was Rogers, yes, and it's now it's Jordan rotten. Love. So maybe that is true. He's, he's not bad. He's you, got y'all, paid a good y'all got rid of Rogers. We didn't, though. we didn't really know that, but a lot of people. I mean, we didn't know he was going to be that great. But a star was born. He used that opportunity against America. Thirty-five team touchdowns. To what you had? So, you had so much tape to go off of. This is why it's annoying being a Cowboys fan. Everybody brings their A game anytime they play the Cowboys. No, no, it's not nope. true. Every nobody, it's not nobody. fair. It's, 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 it's not fair. So people, <laughs> we're just at a loss for words. I just, I don't <laughs> even know what to say. Yeah, first <laughs> they play the Cowboys. Why? Not, we hide our play. No, we don't try that Cowboys much. Reminder. Honestly, teams don't even try that hard against the Cowboys. Dude, they bring I think all it's the trick. His contract. The big contract he just got paid, he earned it through the Cowboys game. He knew he was going to 
he knew he was going to get paid a good amount from that game. And that's that's what he's All right, but, but and so, <laughs> Jared and John, we, we've been on this for a yeah, minute. Sorry to interrupt Hux, you, but like Baker Mayfield beat the Eagles thirty-two to nine. That is that Don't is pretty. That. Bad. We knew yeah. it was coming. But Jared and John, which which scenario would you have? Like if okay, because we're biased, obviously. Would you rather have known it was coming or like been on like, oh, this is a Super Bowl? Oh, no, no, the Cowboys were worse. The Cowboys was the worst loss. Y'all yeah, the sure. Cowboys, you Cowboys was you worse. Know, you yeah. guys were down like twenty-one <laughs> nothing at <laughs> halftime in your own stadium. No, y'all knew it was the Cowboys difference. What was the score? before the fourth quarter before the cowboys got garbage time uh, yeah points. dude honestly the, the cowboys game was at the point where like it wasn't even halftime and the, the game was over yeah exactly. it was it was barely even the honestly maybe end of the first quarter i was like yeah this, this is over like, but the eagles wasn't was bad like their 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 last six or seven games of the season yeah were awful but because that's how we knew it was gonna happen but the cowboys a home game against a wild card team you 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 Basically, the game was over at like halftime. That's not Love, good, dude. Jordan Love is a star. We didn't know that. That that's what that's what it was. But how did you not know? He had thirty five touchdowns. No, we thought it was a fluke. We all come on. Don't don't. We all thought it was a fluke. So wait. So so you and guys didn't was, bring your A game. It was forty one to sixteen at the half at the end of the third quarter. Oh yeah. my god. So then they got you guys in your got own stadium. In the four, yeah. So forty eight to thirty two was the overall thing. That's why it looks better. But. Like y'all got sixteen points when it was too late, you know. Yeah, they took a personal. Like, I hate to say it. Cowboys, either way, you should have won. You guys should have won. Either way, this is confirmation that when playoffs come, the Cowboys just don't show up for some reason. No, 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 no. I, I should have that, that, that was like a one in a blue moon situation. <laughs> Jordan Love happened to be good. If I believe me, if Cowboys knew Jordan Love was a real deal, they would have. It would have came to play. So the only way you're gonna make it is when you have an easy road to. to <laughs> yeah, well, it's, you, it's gotta be avoid Green Bay and stars. Avoid ha- stars have to be aligned, and the, the <laughs> mindset has to know that everybody's good, and every I don't even know every, everything Mercury else that has to, has to happen. But we'll find they, out this Jonathan, season. They've let you down so much. You gotta just not <laughs> no, have no, expectations no. every year. <laughs> yeah, who did even come knows, to the podcast after? If you're quarterback, sad. everybody knows who they are. They know they're you know good or not great. Then yeah, Cowboys have a decent playoff run but jordan love nobody knew nobody had nobody knew he's gonna be great nobody knew you guys didn't know it was gonna be that game y'all didn't know he's gonna get no, that's what makes what it what does work? he have that's, to do that's what dak makes it yeah, that's what... he's dak was awful that game how I come knew he Baker, how can't he can't dak, how many jordan picks love? did dak throw at least three i think i know he threw a they're pick six to, right before half. Through two they, were, they were trying to come back and so like yeah i mean it was kind of, it was kind of disappointing because we're like man we thought we we thought we like we didn't know he had to fumble one too right yeah, it, it's it's one of yes. those games. That was just that was just a once in a blue moon situation. Believe me, the Cowboys are not. It keeps the happening team. to the Cowboys, though. You guys have bad luck. There's too many. many there's just too, there's the just Cowboys. too many blue moons out there. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> the calendar are they using? What position on yeah. the earth? <laughs> just talk to a meteorologist, and you'll see if they'll have a good year. <laughs> What's the horoscope for all the players, and we'll figure it out. No, it's it's that's what makes it frustrating. Yeah, it's, the Cowboys are on paper should be good contenders but i think it's just the best the the inverse every year we're the best in the nfc it's the inverse of the giants where the morale's the issue we shoot our then it's the cowboys like delusions we're the best team in the nfc every year the past few seasons we're the best team in the nfc Uh, right now we're we're the best 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 okay before let's just move on before we make any more (laughs) (laughs) all right yeah yeah. next division (laughs) this is a good talk 